Step 5. Export and preview your files. In this section we will cover the UMP folder structure, setting up PDF export settings, exporting your files, types of files that can be used, and previewing your files on iPad or the simulator. Firstly, let's look at the UMP folder structure. Start by creating a new folder for your app. Let's call it My App. Then within this main folder, you will create a folder for each section or story contained in your app. These folders will need to have a name as well as a number. Let's use 30-introduction for our example. The numbers serve to arrange your sections into sequential order. For example, 10-cover will appear before 30-introduction as you swipe through your app. Now let's move on to creating the OOMPH PDF export setting. In InDesign, go to the File menu and select Adobe PDF Presets, Define. Choose to define a new preset and once the dialog box pops up, name your preset OOMPH. Under the General tab, make sure you tick the hyperlinks box. Then under Compression tab, change all image compressions to 132 ppi. We have already set up our page to the correct pixel dimensions, so the PPI will not really make any difference. We just use this as a safeguard in case images are not set up to the correct dimensions and scaled up on the device. Finally, under the Output tab, select Convert to Destination and select the sRGB setting. This again is just a good safeguard to convert any images or colours that were not converted from CMYK to RGB. You're now ready to export your pages from InDesign. Now let's take a look at how we name our files. If your page is a landscape page, you will need to name your first page L1-1. The L stands for landscape, the first one stands for the page number, and the second one refers to what layer you are creating. Oomph allows you to create multiple pages and layers. So as you can see, if I now swipe down a page, I would name the second page L2-1. So it's page two, but still layer one. Let's start by exporting the in-page slideshow example that we used in step four. We're going to add an animation to the second layer to show you how layers can transition onto the page. So first we will just select and move the title that we want to animate onto another layer in InDesign. Under the file menu, select export. Choose the oomph preset you just created and then navigate to the 30-introductions folder we set up earlier. Name your page L1-1, which refers to page one, layer one. Choose the range of pages you want to export, which in this case, we are just exporting page one. Now let's export the layer with the text that we want to animate onto the page. Hide the bottom layer and show the text layer in InDesign. Then repeating the export process as before, we name this layer L1-2. We're still on page one, but now we are on our second layer. We then add the animation instruction at the end of the name, which in this case is move in from left. This will simply make the text move in from the left side of the screen. Now let's move on to exporting our slides. We can see that our slides are on pages two to four of our document. As we did with our pages, we then choose to export these slides using the oomph export preset. Because we named our hotspot IPS1, we will need to save our slides in a folder with the same name in your section folder, which is 30-introduction in this example. You can export all three slides in the same PDF and name your file S1-1. Just like pages, slideshows can have multiple slides and layers. We are now ready to preview our tablet files. There are two ways to do this. Both Mac and PC users can download the Oomph Viewer from the App Store to sideload and preview their files on the iPad. If you're a Mac user, you can also use the Oomph Editor in the simulator to preview your files on the desktop. Refer to steps one and two or our online documentation for full instructions on how to install these tools. Let's first look at previewing files in Oomph Editor. Simply drag the section folder you want to preview onto the editor icon. This will open up and display your files in the Oomph Editor window. Make sure you select the section you would like to preview and press play to send the files to your simulator or connected device. If you choose the simulator, this will pop up and you'll be able to open your files within Oomph Viewer. This is a quick and easy way to preview files when you are designing. Similarly, if you press play to send your files to a connected device, your files will open in Oomph Viewer on your iPad. For both PC and Mac users, an alternative way to preview your files is to sideload them onto your iPad. 
To do this, select and compress your section files that you would like to preview. Then open up iTunes and select the App tab. Scroll down to the File Sharing section and then find and select Oomph Viewer. If you're on a Mac, you can drag and drop your files under the File Sharing area. Or if you're on a PC, you can use the Add button and navigate and select your compressed file. Then open up Oomph Viewer on your device and you will be able to see your files loaded. You have just created the first page of your app. This completes our Getting Started Guide for Oomph. If you want to learn more about the rich media features that Oomph has to offer, visit our documentation. If you want more information on pricing and how to publish, visit our online documentation or pricing section on our website. Otherwise, for any other help on how to get started, please email our support team.